AMN Drive Time is sponsored by Aishin, your trusted and reliable source for aftermarket automotive components and technology. Visit AishinAftermarket.com for more information. Marco, welcome to AMN Drive Time, sponsored by our good friends at Aishin. Yeah, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. We're glad to have you. As we know, we're sitting in Las Vegas, Nevada during the trade show in one of the conference rooms, so it's really fun to spend part of the day with you here. It has been a busy day and uh, the show is going well. Good. So, Marco, you've been with Mon & Hummel for almost two years. Uh, if you could, for the benefit of the AMN audience, share, share, share with us about your background and about how your career in the aftermarket started. Did you find the aftermarket or did the aftermarket find you? I, I actually choose the aftermarket to work in. So I started my career in the automotive industry with Bosch 30 years ago. And the first eight years were in OE. So I did different functions in OE, product engineering, sales. I had three years as a plant manager running a plant. And then I saw the aftermarket and the combination of technology, relationship, trading, that was fantastic and uh, yeah so I joined the Bosch aftermarket team and my first job running a global business unit for workshop equipment diagnostic and scan tools so a lot of software involved and uh, we also had yeah training centers and helpline for technicians in over 36 languages around the world and I did that for uh, five years and then... Now, is I, this in the U.S. or in Germany? That was in Germany, uh -huh. but it was a global business. Sure. So, yeah. And then I joined the parts business of Bosch and I was running the global business unit for electric and electronic spare parts, including all remanufacturing activities. And, and that was also quite interesting to see all the logistic, reverse logistic, core management and uh, circular economy. That was a great topic. And then I had the opportunity to see the aftermarket from a different perspective when I joined BMW and uh, I was in the global leadership team of the after sales division of BMW and we served all the BMW mini and Rolls Royce dealers but there were a lot of independent aftermarket customer who sure. had an interest in buying BMW spare parts sure. and uh, that was an interesting business as well. And uh, did this for eight years and then I had uh, Again, a change of perspective, and I joined LKQ Europe as chief commercial officer. And uh, LKQ Europe is the biggest distributor uh, in, in Europe. And my role was uh, as chief commercial officer. I was responsible for all the marketing activities, different sales activities, including pricing, and uh, also the branch management, store management, as you would say. Um, and also we had a team developing digital tools for our customers, so ordering platforms, uh, garage management system to, to run the workshops and also some e-commerce websites and uh, yeah, platforms we, we developed at that time. And yeah, um, did this for two years and then uh, Kirk Wilkes asked me to join Mann & Hummel to run the aftermarket uh, business of Mann & Hummel in the America, so from Canada, US, Mexico and all the Latin American countries and yeah, this is what I did for the last two years. Oh my gosh, yeah. that's quite a run, isn't it? Yeah, it was an exciting time and uh, I'm enjoying it. Yeah. So today Mon & Humo calls itself the leader in filtration. Discuss how an investment in R&D, engineering, digitization and advanced tech support your leadership position. Yeah, so in Mon & Hummel we do filtration. And we do nothing else, we do filtration. That's our sole focus. And to be a leader in filtration, you really need to understand filtration in all the depths. And uh, so for us, it was important to also have a deep understanding of the media we are using. So to share a number with you, with all our global production facilities, we produce 32 filters every second. Wow. That's a lot. And we also you use... Now I have to ask, every second of a 24-hour day or a 12-hour day or an 8-hour day? 24-7. Wow. 24-7. And yeah, we use a lot of media for that. And media is a crucial element in, in, in all our filtration topics. So we invested a lot in media science. 
we have an engineering team working on that and we have already today 250 global patents alone in, in media. And this expertise is crucial for us to yeah, understand really the, the performance of our filters. And you need to consider this, the, the media we are using to compare it with the human hair for a diesel filter you need fibers which are 25 times thinner than a human hair. And if you want to have a good filter for diesel engines, to, to filter the oil for diesel engines, you know, with all the common rail technology, you have high pressure and it becomes more and more important, you even need to go further. So you need to have filter media which is 50 times thinner than a human hair. And as you know, we also produce a lot of cabin air filters. Yes. No? Yeah. So we have filters protecting the engines. We have other filters protecting us and our families. And to have a good cabin air filter, you need to filter and target all the viruses, the pollen and, and all this kind of stuff. And to do that and to protect our lungs, we have media fibers which are 100 times thinner than the human hair. And that shows how important it is to have the right media for the right application. And our engineers, they do a lot of uh, simulation uh, to define that. And um, with the investment in, in filter media, um, yeah, we, we also have that, that capacity to produce our own media. And that helps us to be really independent from any supply chain issues and uh, yeah it also as mentioned before helps us to design the right filter for any kind of application so marco fill rates have been a topic of discussion in the market forever they've been a topic you know in the recent years as well what's the current situation at wix and how does the near and distant future look as it relates to fill rates yeah. for you guys Yes, we, we faced significant challenges over the last year and has been a tough year, I can tell you. Um, but we were working on it every day. So we had daily task force looking into the issues, improving our, our situation. And I, I'm really happy to, to tell you today uh, that we are out of it. So over the last couple of days, we met with many, many customers and they all acknowledged the improvements we have done and uh, yeah, we overcome our challenges in our distribution center. Um, our factories are producing filters and we don't have any backlog anymore. So yeah, has been a ride, but uh, we are here. We are f back and we can deliver the products with 95% fill rates. Good for you, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. You touched on it a little bit, but just to expand. So Modern Hummel has been promoting the concept of vertical integration. You referred to it just before those comments. What does this mean in the scope of uh, uh, in the scope of filtration? And and just elaborate on why it is so important to Modern Hummel. You touched a little bit. You can control your own fate being mm. vertically integrated, right? Yeah. Look, we are investing a lot in the aftermarket. Alone in, in North America, we invested over the last couple of years 135 million in our production facilities. And in addition, as I mentioned before, we are investing in, in, in production for filter media. And um, this is absolutely crucial for us. And to give you a number, uh, annually we produce 75,000 tons of filter media. If you would roll it up on a one meter wide uh, endless carpet, you could spin the globe 15 times with, with oh, our okay. media. And we are doing investments right now to double the capacity. So in 2025, we will have double of the capacity to produce this kind of, of media. And this vertical integration is, is super important for us because it gives us supply chain stability. We are in control of our, our quality, so we know what we are doing. Um, and it's also, it is st strategic importance. So we are the only filter manufacturer in the world doing that, uh, producing um, filter media for all kinds of, of, of filters. And that also helps us to, to bring innovations to the market. And uh, 
especially here in the, in the US in 2025, we will launch a new innovation for oil filters. Mm. And uh, we just filed the patent, so I cannot talk too much about it. Uh, but yeah, that, that will be exciting. Yeah. Good for you. So Martin Hummel has been very clear uh, about sustainability and it being a priority for the business. How do you see this topic becoming more relevant in the aftermarket in the US? Look, as the impact of climate change becomes more evident, um, yeah, we as a company, we as a player for filtration. And, and filtration, our, our slogan is, we separate the useful from the harmful. And also in our operation, in everything we are doing, we, we strive for environmental friendly production. So um, all investments in this are, are, are very close to our heart and uh, it, it's a crucial role for us to yeah, separate the contaminants from, from yeah, whether it's oil or air. So to really have clean mobility, clean industry. And in our operation, we looked for environmental friendly packaging uh, so we, we recycle our packaging material and I'm especially proud that, that here in the US all our manufacturing plans for the aftermarket became in 2024 zero landfill plans. So we don't do any landfill anymore and uh, I'm, I'm proud to have that uh, achievement uh, with the team. And we also get recognition from our customers. So also in this year Mann and Hamel was honored by Walmart as a giga guru and that's a, a great award for environmental friendly activities so yeah that's that's important for us and we do everything we can uh, to improve on that so okay. you guys are definitely on the cutting edge of the sustainability absolutely because it's close to what we're doing it's close to our sure. heart it's close to our yeah dna of the company sure so as you look out say two years three years four years five years you know it's tough to predict the future right uh, what's your vision for the company over the uh, over the next uh, few years? Yeah. So we are committed to the aftermarket and we keep investing in the aftermarket. Uh, we keep investing in, in several topics. So one topic which is super important for us is the investment in our brands. And we have heritage brands here in the US like Wix filters, Purolator filters. We have Mun filter as well and, and those brands are these brands are so important for us that we really aggressively strengthen, strengthening uh, and propelling these key brands forwards. And that comes with innovation, that comes with marketing activities, that comes with support for our customers. And we also invest in private brands. So when our customers want to have certain private brands, then we do that for our customers. And yeah, we're also investing in all I would say level of, of filtration. We have customers who are very price sensitive. Uh, so um, we looked into that and we saw, wow, today a lot of filters come from China. Uh, but with all the geo geopolitical challenges uh, which China might face or we might face with, with China and with all the, the tariffs which are put on products from, from China, we thought, hey, we need to find a way to mitigate that. So it was here in Vegas last year. I met with a good partner of ours. We discussed the topic. We decided to do something together. And uh, we launched a joint venture in Malaysia. And this joint venture called Gauman, um, this joint venture is now up and running. So we have invested in, in, in production facilities. We have local content uh, that we can, can also get the raw material from Malaysia. And uh, we are producing products since four weeks. And uh, they are on the vessel coming over and we will distribute it from, from our warehouses and serve our customers with that yeah, entry level price product. Marco, it is tradition on drive time at the end of our conversation that we do something called the lightning round. 
and I'm going to ask you some questions, and you're just going to give me a quick answer off the top of your head. Okay. Are, are, are you ready? I'm ready. Looking forward you're to it. You're certain you're ready? <laughs> I hope so, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Do you prefer sweets or something savory to savory. eat? Savory. Savory. What's some of the best advice you've ever received? Stay humble. Do you prefer a home-cooked meal around the kitchen table or a fancy dinner out? I love cooking, but I love to have dinners to get inspiration. <laughs> okay. If you could instantly master any skill, just like that, what would it be? That's a, that's a challenging question. So there are so many skills I, I want to have and I want to improve. And I think what is, what is really important to be a good listener. What's a hobby that you've always wanted to try? What I always wanted to I tried all, all the things I, I love to. Um, something I stayed away from is skydiving. Uh, but maybe I give it a chance. <laughs> I would stay away from that. I don't like that idea at all. <laughs> Last one. Rather read a book or watch a movie? Uh, nothing of it. Doing sports. Doing sports. Great to have you on AMN Drive Time, mm -hmm. sponsored by Aishan. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. It was a pleasure. AMN Drive Time is sponsored by Aishin, your trusted and reliable source for aftermarket automotive components and technology. Visit AishinAftermarket.com for more information.